Welcome back coders, welcome to Coding Casually and today we'll be making a Python program which we will be able to understand your speech. So not really understand, it will be able to recognize what you are saying. So don't expect any advanced level of coding here, neither we would be making any advanced level of programs. It will be a basic speech recognition program that we'll be trying to make and after learning the same it's up to your imagination how to use it. So let's start coding. So before we start coding, I would really want you to install these modules. The first one is the speech recognition 3.8.1. The URL of the site is here. And the second one is the Pi Audio. And there's a pure documentation over it. How do you install it and everything it's there. Or generally all the modules which are installed in Python goes with pip installation. S the way you would install speech recognition, you would install the Pi Audio as well. So once you have done this, uh, I'll go back to my coding IDE which is Visual Studio for Code, uh, Visual Studio Code, if it's up to you which uh, IDE you want to use. And in order to build this, what we'll do is we'll first import the speech recognition and we'll uh, import it as uh, SR. So I don't want to write this statement again and again, so speech recognition goes for SR for sure. And then I'll say that I want you to hear, but what SR would go for recognizer. So R E C O G N I Z E R speech recognizer. So S R is for speech recognizer, and dot recognizer is the module that we'll be using from it. And then I want to print the microphones that I have. So, you know, totally depends on which uh, index number your microphone comes on. So, if it's better that you check it. So, how do you check it? What you can do is you can write microphone and then write list and then write microphone names. So, through this, what will happen is we'll get to know the names of the microphone. I already know it, but I'll still print this command so that you get to know how this works. My mic is on the index level 1, and I'll write SR, I mean mic equals to SR again, it goes for speech recognition only on Python. So SR, then I'll use the microphone, and then I'll use the device index 1, by writing 1. Okay, this is how I set up my mic and just for fun what I'll do is I'll make a similar, um, I'll make a simple variable called running and I'll give it the property of true so that I can run a while loop. So I'll write while my running is true, of course I don't have to write that. Then what I'll do is I'll, I want my audio to be recognized so my listener which is here that I've set would listen and would listen to what and that would be source so bef before i don't have i mean i did not set the s set up a source for this so let's set up a source for this so wha what i'll do is i'll put it over here and write with mic as source so now my mic is listening and it'll be termed as source so now the audio will listen to the source okay and what I'll do is I'll say okay try I want the text as well to be recognized of course this is the only thing that I want right now as I said that this will not be the advanced level so I'll be writing text my here will recognize uh, recognize I'll use the Google module the Google API and then give it the audio if you have a um, audio file which you want to translate you can use that as well but what we are doing right now is here to listen to the mic and then I'll say that if my string and then I'll give it text equals equals to exit then print program died or and the running should also go for 
false. I'm sure that you would be able to get to know why I'm writing running equals to false and this is all a part of basic python how do you use the while loop here this is all uh, covers I mean this is all covered in that basic and then the moment you go next to it and if the exit is not there I want to see what is the text that a person is saying and then if I'm just telling you how to play with it and you can build multiple things through this and if it says Jarvis and I write print like Jarvis says hello sir and we will feed in an accept that is pass and then what we'll do is we'll try to run the program the moment we run the program and let's see and it broke and let's see what happened wrong probably we have messed it up uh, on this part of the play and let's see what is the issue hmm it says sr dot microphone dot list underscore microphone should be there instead of this and let's run this and let's check yes we have the microphones and now we'll say see it is saying what I'm just trying to say right now on the mic so not perfect but still it, it, it can work on multiple programs Jarvis So it so right now I believe uh, J should be in the upper one. Oh no, it's like Jarvis. Jarvis. It is not printing. Hello, sir. Let's see why. Or rather what we can do is we can say our text equals to Jarvis. Alright and let's run now. Oh I did not put double equals to and let's run now. And let's see how it works. It's like Jarvis. As you can see, the result is here and it is still listening to you. Exit. Right. So the moment you say exit, the program is done, concluded. And if you would say Jarvis, it returns the statement, which is here. And you can do multiple things. Here. If you think that you know this is resourceful, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.